Core Express today. If you have gliders, if you have paper plates, if you have a floor that you can use two towels on, that would be awesome. I've got gliders here. And if you have a small squishy ball, it could be a playground ball, and it just doesn't have to be super huge and you want it a little bit softer. So I've got my clock set for 20 seconds to begin, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of transition. Core Express on this Monday, you're going to be in a hip twist position, feet on your discs, squeezing the ball between your knees, and you're just going to twist your hips from side to side while you've got that extra bit of challenge with your feet on the discs. So they're going to move a little bit. And the ball, you try to squeeze between the knees and you kind of wring yourself out like a washcloth. And you might have to readjust that ball. Totally normal. And that's what happens when you use some of these props. But that does feel really good. Good. All right. So we've got a high, a side plank with a ball squeeze. So gliders go off to the side. You're going to have the ball between the knees, or you can go a little bit lower. We'll start with between the knees. Spread those fingers out. Be careful that arm hasn't gone behind you. Press your fingers into the floor. It keeps this hip moving and stacked forward instead of rolled back, which is harder on the shoulder. So here's the other thing. You can put the ball down between the ankles. Adds a little bit more stability challenge. Spread those fingers out. Squeeze your quads nice and long. Keep your head neutral. Try not to let everything dip towards the mat. Nice job. I just keep going through my checklist. You guys who come to my classes, you know it's all about the checklist to try to keep things engaged. You just have to apply it to your own bodies. So, my side plank checklist. Fingertips down into the floor and press and make contact. Keep your head neutral on your spine. Try not to let the top of the head go towards the floor. This hand, reach the ceiling. It also gives your brain something to do so you're not like, oh my gosh, what is this ending? Zip up your belly, reach, quads are tight, and try not to feel this in the shoulder because your hips are rolling behind you. So many different ways to stay busy. All right, so now we're gonna be in a high plank. Put the ball between your knees. I do not know if the super rackets have these balls, yet if they do, grab one. High plank, ball squeeze, and so I've got my hands, fingers pressing into the ground. So here's my checklist. My feet, my heels are over, not back here where you're going to feel it really in the calves. The ball is between my knees. I'm pressing into the mat as hard as I can. My legs are straight. My hands can actually come in just a little bit so they're under the shoulders. And then, Push yourself forward just a little bit. Turns into a little plank saw. I love this workout with the glider and the playground ball. Nice. All right, so ball goes here. And you're going to be in a reverse plank. Put your feet on the gliders. Check this out. So you come up. And, again, if your hands want to be out to the side, that's fine. You'll get a little bit more air if your hands...
hands around so I can lift my body a little bit higher. And believe it or not, even just this little bit of action with my feet on the glider, my body and my core are having to stabilize to keep this reverse plank. It is different if you've got your heels on the ground and you don't have a slippery surface, but try it with the slippery surface. Pick your hips up, be nice and strong. Excellent, plank jacks. So, toes on top of the gliders. You're gonna be in the forearm plank. You can be in a high plank, doesn't matter. Let's go forearm plank first, here, and then you're out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Pressing those toes in, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Here's what your high plank looks like. Sometimes your wrists can be bothered, shoulders. When you're a little farther away from the floor in a high plank, it's a little more challenging. Plank jacks, here we go. Let's finish up, 10 seconds. Push, pull, push, pull. Quads are tight. Nice job. Okay, so plank, reach with your gliders. Now, here's what you're gonna do. Oh, I forgot. Actually, your hands are on the gliders. Oops, so you're here. Watch your feet wide. And you push and pull one arm at a time without moving your hips. So you don't wanna slide and crumble with the hips sliding side to side. Let's stand up nice and tall in our plank. Not stand up, but you know what I mean. Quads are tight. Hold those hips nice and steady. This is why we need music in our classes. So you don't have to hear oh, all those noises that get left behind. All right, so we've got a bridge lift. Grab the ball. Put the bridge position with your feet. Put the ball between your knees and you lift up and you're gonna hold and squeeze the ball as hard as you can. So my arms, I've almost got my shoulders kind of tucked underneath of me. Pushing your heels into the ground. Squeeze the ball. By the way, this can all be done with or without equipment. You do not need the ball to have this be effective. You just get a little bit more. It's more like a bar class if you can find the ball and find something with the gliders. Perfect, okay, so we're going to do that bridge again, but now what we're gonna do is we're going to do a single leg extension. What the ball does is it helps keep your quads parallel so they're not lifting and rolling. So you have to do more stabilizing with your glutes and your core, so this think of this as your back core and your glutes are part of that back core. So it keeps the timing slow and controlled and without momentum. So you can use muscle. Nice job. If you wanna use a towel to squeeze also, you can. Just reminds the inner legs to activate as we're doing this. Nice. Okay, we've got one more. You're gonna take the ball, and again, you do not need to have the ball. But if you do, put it behind that low back, and here's what we're gonna do. Your arms should be straight, and you're actually gonna press the ball as hard as you can you to feel your lower abdominals engage, and then you come up just a little bit. 
Press down and try to flatten the ball. And then come up. Keep your eyes looking at the ceiling. You can do it. Try not to be tempted to roll off the ball, but you lift so it unsquishes just a little bit and then come back down. Your head is an extension of your spine and you're not flexing that spine by dropping your chin to your chest. And then come and lift up just a little bit and then come back down. Feel your whole core engage with this exercise. Great workout. I hope you enjoy it. Have fun. You can always let me know if you have any questions.